Good morning. Nice to see you guys. Let's just start with a big inhale. Fill your lungs as much as you can. Put a lot of tension in your arms and reach up. And then clasp the hands together. Start to go side to side. Doesn't have to be big. You can start small and then every time get like one or two inches a little further, jut the hip out, hip out a little bit more. And then on this one, grab one of your wrists and pull. And then same thing on the other side, grab a wrist, pull, just lengthen your whole side body. Beautiful, turn these into big circles, sweep it down towards the floor and up. And then up to you, but I like to reverse my circle direction every time. I don't think it makes a difference for stretching, but I just feel like maybe less dizzy that way. Let's do one more. And then at the top, stop it. Perfect, hands, um, feet a little bit wider. We're gonna do a pull down squat. So elbows come down, all the way down into the squat, stand up, reach back. You can sort of do this however you want. You can do the whole squat, pull down, extend any version. We just want to get the upper and the lower moving together. Let's do one more. Perfect. And then just some big twists. Think about like pushing something with the heel of your hand, like you're pushing something away again, just to like rotate the back. Maybe even the shoulders feel this a little bit. One more each side and we'll do some chest opener jumping jacks. All right, let's do some chest opener jumping jacks. Hands together, feet together. Then everything comes out, everything comes back in. You can actually clap. Let's do about 10 or so. And then we'll do a couple walkouts. We'll transition that right into core. Three, two, one, perfect. Come to the edge of your mat and just walk out to a high plank. Hold it for about five seconds. Nice and short. Squeeze the glutes, squeeze the legs, and then walk it back in. Big sweeping inhale. Back out to that high plank. Walk it out, hold it, one more time, walk it in, big inhale. On this next one, let's just come on down, we'll do some cat and cows and then go right into our core work. All right, drop the knees, hands can walk back a little bit, big arch, and then push the ground away. Just do some cat and cows at your own pace, whatever feels good, you can always stop at a point when you want a little more of a stretch. All right, well, last one. Our first exercise in core is a hand plank with a pike up. I'm gonna put a dumbbell all the way up between my legs, as high up as it can go, and then get into the hand plank. All we do is pike up and then come back to a regular plank. There's no going below, because I feel like that's not great for your lower back. So you're gonna start in a regular plank, pike up a few inches, come back down, all right? Your modification is take the dumbbell out, and if you need to drop into a child's pose every now and again, you go for it. Otherwise, here we are. Piking up. It's like almost like a baby downward dog. Not quite as intense, but just getting the hips up. Just getting some movement. Dumbbell adds quite a bit. We have about nine more seconds, and then we're gonna gently get rid of the dumbbell, but stay in a plank. Ideally, in three, two, one. Just get rid of the dumbbell, drop to your hands. We're doing circles. So as big of a circle as you can allow, I do one to the right, one to the left. And most of this comes from pushing off the toes. I feel like the upper body is kind of feels like what's circling, but it's coming from pushing from the toes. It may not have escaped you that we're in a plank for a full minute. <laughs> right after this, we will flip onto our back and grab a dumbbell in just about five seconds. Almost there. And relax. Flip it over, grab a dumbbell. We're gonna do one tuck up and run, one Russian twist. So with the dumbbell, it looks like this. We tuck up, twist right, twist left, tuck up. If you wanna modify, you can do a crunch and then a right-sided, left-sided oblique crunch. I'm gonna use my dumbbell. Let's go in three, two, one. All right, dumbbell out, big tuck up. If you can balance without letting your feet hit, it'll be a little hard. I very often just lose it and my feet come down and that's fine. About 10 seconds left. And 
relax, nice job. All right, just do a quick forward fold if you want. Use your dumbbell to balance and to pull yourself. It feels good to be able to do that. You get a little deeper stretch with the dumbbell. Just let it pull you down chin to chest. And then we go right back to that person on the plank. Pike ups, put the dumbbell nice and high between your legs if you're using it. Getting it there is always the tricky part. All right, go for it. Remember, there's really no arch in your lower back in this bottom part. So I'm gonna make sure nobody hurts their back. Belly button stays tight the whole time. Hands are right over the shoulders. Even when we push up, I'm not pushing back, like I said, into a downward dog, just pushing up a little bit. So the shoulders really stay over the hands as your butt goes in the air. Four more seconds. Three, two, one. Get rid of the dumbbell. Right to the forearms. Circle. You can always drop to your knees. It's really hard to do these circles on your knees. You just don't have a lot of room. So if you want to modify, I'd suggest do a circle, drop to the knees, take a moment here, do another circle, drop to the knees whenever you have to. Less than 10 seconds to go, my friends. Is your stomach on fire like mine is? Three, two, flip it over, nice job. All right, tuck ups with the Russian twist. Take a nice deep breath. Let's go for it. Tuck up. Whoops. Russian twist. If you want, try two tuck ups and then the Russian twist. Just to add like a little something. Like I said, if you can balance with your feet off the ground, great. Mine often just fall down. What are you going to do? Balance, balance. Four down and three. Two, one, relax. Have like five seconds for water, and then we do it all again. Cheers, happy Sunday morning. All right, back into it. Let's get her done. Find that high plank, put the dumbbell nice and high up. Go for it, drop and plank. Again, remember thinking about the shoulders staying over the hands, it makes the stomach do even more work. You guys are awesome. This is really great because when I look at the screen, I just see like butts going in the air. I really enjoy that. You guys are awesome. 17 down, 13 to go. If you want, keep the dumbbell there for the last round of circle planks. In three, two, one. Try that, drop down, keep the dumbbell there. Start with those circles. No surprise, it's gonna feel a lot harder, especially in this elbow position. If you have to drop it, drop it. If you don't, don't. Use your toes. Don't let your back arch in. We are so close, friends. About 10 seconds left. Make your circles as big as you can. Get one more in each direction, and then you can be done. Whew. Take the dumbbell out. Flip it over. Your choice, one to three Russian, one to three tuck ups, and then one Russian twist. So I'm gonna do three since we're on our third round. I'll go three tuck ups, and then on the third one, Russian twist. But it's up to you. Maybe you like one part of this better than the other. More than halfway through it, we have just about nine seconds left. See if you get at least one more round in, probably two rounds. <sighs> Done in three, two, one, finish up and done. All right, take another, let's actually go all the way under the belly. Quick little stretch before we stand up. Squeeze the glutes, push right into the ground. You don't have to come all the way up, whatever feels good on your back. So I always like to look right and left to get a big hip flexor stretch. And then fold it into a child's pose. We're gonna be in a static split squat or an isometric split squat. Grab some water and one dumbbell. Um, if you have an option, grab your heavier. All right, so this one's a right and a left. 
I'm going to put my right leg back and my right arm up. So the right leg's back, right arm is up. Back knee is just like hovering over the ground, just an inch above. And all I do is overhead press. So the legs, let me get my stopwatch where I can see it. Go for it. The legs should be on fire. I think it's going to be a lot harder for the legs and the arms, but the arms are doing a good amount as well. So just going straight down, try and stop your elbow when it gets to a right angle. I know I was going lower, so I'm using my reflection in the drawer right there to stop it. 10 more seconds, and then we just switch to the other side. So your right hand is up and your right leg is back. If you have it flipped, it doesn't really matter as long as you do both sides. We're gonna switch in three, in two, in one, switch sides. Okay, so for me, go ahead and start. Much harder on the legs than on the arms. That's why I think if you have the option of a heavier weight, go heavier on your arms. You can also grab two dumbbells. Oh, now my legs are really screaming at me. Do not lift up. That's absolutely my inclination when my legs hurt is like, come out of it. Don't for at least six more seconds. Almost there, friends. Three, two, one. Shake your legs out, nice job. Ah, all right. Push up to jump stand. You can do this with or without dumbbells. With dumbbells, here's what it looks like. I'm gonna hold on to them as I do a push up. Jump my feet in and stand up. You do not need the dumbbells for it, obviously. You can modify and walk it in or you can hold on to the dumbbells, up to you. You guys already started, starting the clock. You're awesome. Keep really nice form on your push-ups. If your back starts to sink in, drop to the knees. You will get so much out of a really nice modified push-up. I'd always rather see that than a full push-up without good form. Stand all the way up. Get a little hustle to this one. Ooh. We have four seconds left. Stand up one last time and you're done. Done, nice job. All right, last one, happy sack jumps. These are gonna get our heart rate way up. Here's what the full enchilada looks like. Hands behind the head. Hand goes to opposite toe. So, squat down, jump up. I always bring the hands back to behind the head, otherwise I start getting lazy and I just tap like that. All right, clock has started, go for it. You can modify without the jump. Ooh, we have some hacky sack champions out there. See if you can get all the way down to the ankle to tap. So part of it, most of it is just lifting your leg high enough. The hand can drop down and find it. Six more seconds, keep going. One more and stop. Man, those kill me. Have a sip of water. What is it about jumping? Cheers. All right, at least the next ones are isometric. Let's see, we started with the right leg back. So let's start with the left leg back this time. Right leg in front, left leg back. Left arm up. Drop it down. Go for it. Other hand can be out for balance. Or just on your hip if it needs a little break. Oh, my heart rate is up there. If you want to make it harder for the hand, stop it a little higher so that there's no break in tension. Coming down, it's like a little break. It's not bad form, it's just a little break. Got my eye on the clock, my legs are burning. Less than 10, about seven. We switch in three, two, one. Go right into it, nice quick transition there. Ooh. Try your best to let your heart rate come down. I know it's not all up to you, but you can facilitate that with a deep inhale through the nose and a really purposeful exhale. Instead of like shallow little breathing, really think about expanding your lungs and then we'll just get our heart rate back up in a few moments. Three, two, one, nice job, all right. Push-ups with the stand. Oh, go for it with or without the push-ups. 
start in that high plank. If you need a moment in a high plank, use that as a baby rest. Go for it. The hardest thing for me right now is that jump in just because my legs are exhausted. You can jump your legs to the outside of your dumbbell and do a really wide stand, or you can get them right behind the dumbbells. Whatever works for you. More than halfway, we have about 12 seconds left. Drop to your knees for that push up anytime you need to. Get one more push up, one more stand, and done. Nice job. <laughs> All right, let's do the hacky sacks, then we'll take a water break. Hands behind the head, let's go for it right away. In three, two, one. <sighs> Maybe speed up a little bit. Listen, I'm really talking to myself because I noticed. That I got really exhausted and stopped. Ooh, Jackson's joining. Hi, buddy. <sighs> Hacky sack jumps. So hands are behind the head. You drop down, touch an ankle. Hand to opposite ankle. We have four seconds left. Three, two, we're done. Nice job. Take a moment. Oh, have some water. Ah, heart rate. Cheers, everybody. I could not do a half hour class without water. All right, let's just roll it through. Third and final round, and then we'll do a little bit of glute work. Grab your one dumbbell, either leg, we've done both first, so I'm gonna do my right leg in front. Right leg's in front, left leg's in back, dumbbell in the left hand. Sink down, lower body does not move. Upper body is doing a one arm overhead press. Take your time on these. I would never call this a recovery, but in terms of our heart rate, our heart rate will be able to come down a little. Definitely not all the way, but sometimes just a little is really helpful. This is how I prefer to get my cardio. I keep looking at my clock. We're almost there, friends. Get four more. Three, two, switch sides. Thank you, legs. Ooh, mama, that hurts. Go for it. So just think about your breathing. Don't worry about your legs. They're gonna be on fire. They're doing a lot. Slow the arm down. Big exhale every time it goes up more than halfway through there. <laughs> Jack the best. I love that. Okay, five more seconds. Keep going, keep going, keep going, and stop. I, man, isometric stuff just kills. All right, push up with the jump in. So with or without the dumbbells, we do a big push up, jump it in, stand up with or without the dumbbells, whatever works for you. In this third round, I'm gonna start modifying my push-ups. I feel my lower back just wanting to cave in. My priority is always good form. Even on the modified ones, I can feel myself just struggling to get up a little bit. That's good. Maybe we're working hard. Time for one. Last push up and stand. Good job, nice job. All right, put your dumbbells down. Get ready for the hacky sack jumps. Heart rate's gonna go way up for one last time and then it's gonna come down for the rest of class. Ready? Go for it. Drop down, tap. Nice job, get your hands all the way behind your head. It makes it harder. <laughs> awesome. Isn't it crazy how like moving your hands two inches or moving your legs two inches makes it feel incrementally harder? We only have five seconds left. Look at that. Go, 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 and stop. Done. Oh, awesome. Have some water and then just lie flat on your side. Nice job. We've got 10 full minutes, so let's grab a light dumbbell. We'll do a couple shoulder rotations just for the heck of it. 
Lie all the way down. Like you're making a pillow, you're gonna take a nap. I absolutely could right now. But we have 10 more minutes of work. All right, let's start with this one. Knees gonna come forwards, kick out, and then just trace the steps all the way back. You don't have to let the legs touch. You're just gonna bring it forwards, kick, bend it, bring it back. All right, the clock has started. This is a nice warm up to glutes. Just getting a lot of movement. Just a little hinge swing, open up, bring it back. Close your eyes if that feels good. You can also put one hand here for a little stability in front of you or just on your hip. All right, get up into a half modified plank and then we're just lifting the leg. Rep number one, already hard. Okay, instantly regret this decision, but here we are. <laughs> I said it, so we must do it. Slow these down, my heart rate's still coming down for those happy sack jumps. Look at nice, even breathing. Maybe we'll do a pattern of down, up, down, up, we'll see. One more. Good, all the way down, keep that top leg straight. Point your toe and do little circles. Very often we do these big sweeping circles that are really hard, but sometimes that precision of the little ones, also very hard. So think about tracing the shape of a tennis ball with your toe. Hey, it's all, it's all challenging today. Reverse the direction of your tennis ball. I do want to complete our pattern and go back up into that modified plank, but I'll just say right now, it's gonna feel really hard, at least for me. You guys might be totally fine. All right, bend the knee, get up on the elbow. We'll do a moving clamshell. So hip is down, come up, knee goes up, everything back down. Go for it. 30 seconds, and then we switch sides. Nice job. These aren't as terrible as I thought they would be. We still have about 19, 18 seconds left. I'm sure we'll get there. Stick the chest out a little bit. Get two more clamshells. Beautiful, relax. Just grab your lightest dumbbell. I'm using a three. Make a right angle on your body. Elbows clamp down to your side. Elbow cannot come up. And the dumbbell goes right up. Just a shoulder rotation. I don't care if you go two inches up or all the way, but do not let your elbow come off of your side. So if I was in the room with you, I would put a tiny little towel right under your elbow, stand behind you and pull on that towel. And if I get it, it means you haven't been clamping hard enough. <laughs> so just imagine that, okay? You're clamping the elbow down. Makes the rotator cuff do all the work, or most of it. Three, two, one. All right, time for all of that business on the other side. All right. Let's start all the way down with that just nice little warm up movement. You're just gonna bend the knee forwards, kick it, and then bring it back. Take your time on this one, be nice and precise. Try to keep your quad parallel to the ground the whole time. So it's just kind of evenly swinging back and swinging forwards. Three more seconds and we get up on the elbow for those single leg lifts. All right, let's do it. Up on the elbow, straight leg. If this is not possible right now, drop the hip and just go up from here or all the way down with the upper body. I'm gonna just take it really slow. My bottom glute is on fire obviously from what we already did. Top glute is working a lot as well, but the bottom glute is on overtime. You can point your foot, you can flex your foot. I'm good with either. Think about pulling your belly button in. Even though this is glutes, it involves the stomach. Come all the way down, rest your weary head. Point the toe, little circles. 
close the eyes. Get into like a little groove here. Switch the direction of that circle. I know it hurts, but we're almost done, friends. Total, we have five minutes left. We'll finish up the legs with the shoulder rotation. We'll do maybe one minute of arms and then we'll stretch. Keep going here for three more seconds. Get your elbow ready to prop up. Moving clamshells up, clam, down, up, clam, down. Last one, 30 seconds. Just grit your teeth, close your eyes. If this is totally impossible, you just do a normal clamshell all the way down, which is going to be hard as well. A lot of times when I give those modifications when we're exhausted, it helps, I don't know, five or 10%. It's not a huge difference usually. Here's the good news. Four seconds left. Three, two, one. Come on down. Nice job. Amazing. Grab your dumbbell, shoulder rotation. Do about 20 seconds of these. I'm not counting reps, I'm just going by time. Again, clamp that elbow, standing there behind you with the towel pulling on it. Don't let your shoulder creep up to your ear. The other thing I see sometimes is people moving their wrist a lot. Keep your wrist totally clamped. Go for four more seconds. Three, two, one, beautiful. All right, friends, we have literally one minute for arms. Let's just do something and then we'll stretch. So it's not gonna be crazy hard. Grab your dumbbells and just hold your arms out at a T. We could just do this for the minute. That would get hard. It's a little boring though. Start with the hands facing down and then do a really elaborate flip. Hands facing up, hands facing down. We're just flipping. Very nice. All right, now land with the hands facing up, bring them all the way in and cross, all the way out, and then the other side goes on top. So these are over-unders, but really big. Belly button in if you want, stand on one leg. We'll just like get it all in at once. We'll do 10 seconds on each leg and that'll probably be it. Make these really big, squeeze the chest when your hands cross, switch legs. We're gonna end with just a couple of really fast overhead punches, just because I wanna do one more thing for the arms. All right, plant both feet, both hands go up real fast, just 20, go. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, so close. 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, done. Nice job, guys. Put it down. Have some water if you want. I feel the great need to stretch my glutes. That's what's screaming at me right now. So let's lie on our backs. Cross your left leg over the right. Grab underneath the right and just pull in. Just staying here is a big stretch. And for me, buddy, you can kind of rock back and forth, like pull in, then release, pull in, release. Do that a couple of times. Rock from right to left. And then if you're on the same side as me, so I've got my right leg, un my hands under my right leg, you're just gonna fall to the right. Let everything go. Fall over to the right and then look to the left. You can put a hand on the top left leg, on the left knee and just kind of pull it in for another deeper stretch. And then untwist yourself, other side. So now right leg goes over the left. Left leg comes in, pull it in, release, pull it in, release. Last one, now fall to the left, look to the right. You might feel a difference between your two sides, I certainly do. Pull that knee in if it feels good. Good. then untwist, let's go into our side. Let's do a quad stretch. I always neglect these, only because I don't remember them. Um, take your top hand, grab your top ankle, and just pull your leg back. So if your leg's all the way up like this, you're not gonna feel it. If your knee's down by your other knee, you'll feel it when you pull back. If this just isn't possible, you can grab onto your knee and pull a little higher. Just depends on the health of your knees and your flexibility. One more time, pull that leg back. Push your foot right into your hand so you activate your quad and then release. 
Other side. Flip it over. Grab the, the laces forwards and back. So again, the lower the knee, the harder this is. Or I should say the closer the knees to each other. And then push your laces, push your foot right into your hand. Then relax. Sometimes that helps open up a muscle. One more stretch before we do our next stretch. Just sit up and cross your legs. Just do a couple of big circles in each direction. Get the lower back nice and relaxed. A couple to the right. And then a couple to the left. And then we're going to stretch our neck. And you can, I'm going to go on my knees. You can stand up if that bothers your knees. However you want to do it. I'm going to take my right hand, punch it down towards the ground. If you're close enough that you can make contact, make contact. If not, just reach. That's all right. Either way, it's okay. And just pull over. Think about dropping your left shoulder so that your ear has as far to travel as possible. And then tilt your head up just a little and open and close your mouth a few times. As big as you can. Get your neck and your jaw nice and open and stretched. And then tilt your head down. Look down. Still trying to make contact with the right hand. Mine's come up a little bit. And switch sides. Shake it out a little bit. Take the left hand. Try and touch the floor. Pull the head over to the right. Same thing. Dropping the right shoulder. Tilt the head up. Open and close the mouth a few times. I know that one looks beautiful. Tilt the head down. Just give a little bit of pressure. Not too much. This is a tender one, at least for me. And then let's do our middle stretch. Last one of the day. Two elbows really super wide. Arch a little bit and look up. And then fold everything in. Two elbows in, chin to chest. Maybe your forehead gets to the floor. Maybe your elbows. Just take a deep breath here. And then as you exhale, slowly, slowly curl up until you're all the way sitting or standing. Nice job, everybody. Thank you so much for coming.